Hi guys, thanks for coming back to the channel, thanks for watching. Please do hit subscribe if this video helps you out at all. So, this was a requested video uh, by Marty. I've already done another one for him and for you guys. Um, but this was requested, so I uh, hope this answers your question and hopefully it'll help others out as well. So, how do you check the oil level on a W203 Mercedes C-Class and a few of the other ones around this area? Now you think, okay, it's just an oil check. This car doesn't have a dipstick for your oil. No dipstick. Nothing. No dipstick. That over there is for the transmission oil, um, which you have to buy a dipstick for, which I've got. You don't, you don't actually come with one. So how do you check the oil on this? Fairly straightforward, if you know where to look. So you've got to come inside the car and you've got to do it through the dash, um, at least on these facelift models. Um, you'll know if yours is a facelift, the, uh, it's usually like a four onwards. Um, the interior looks like this. With these sort of buttons. Ignore, I'm just going to blur the, the rubbish down here. <laughs> and these dials rather than the old style ones. Okay, so I'm going to put your key uh, in the ignition. Now there are procedures for doing this, so if the car's warm and or been run recently, uh, I believe you've got to wait after shutting it down about 10 15 minutes, something like that. Um, it was maybe even longer for all of the oil to flow back from like the valleys and channels and top of the engine back down into the sump. Um, and that's when it will then let you measure it because it's through like a level sensor in there. So if obviously there's oil elsewhere in the engine, uh, it doesn't give you an accurate depiction of what the oil level is. Um, this is cold, I've literally just turned it around in the driveway so it should be okay. It's weird because I always, you know, used to check engine oil when it was warm. That's what I was always told, told growing up, but there you go. So don't start the car, just turn the ignition on, uh, which is this level. You'll get all the lights and whatnot. You want to be on the main menu. You can navigate through the menus with these. This is like top level menus, so you can get to mileage, info, settings, audio, blah, blah. You want it on the miles. Or, yeah, so when you scroll through, you want it on where your miles are displayed. And just scroll up or down through this sub menu until you get to this. And I'll just say observe waiting time. Now, this might be where, because I've turned the car on, I have to wait. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, so yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to observe the waiting time, as it keeps telling me. So, again, that, that's around 10 15 minutes, something like that. So, I will come back to you when that is ready and we'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so after the time period, uh, I lost track of time, couldn't tell you how long it's been. <laughs> just said so you now go onto the menu again. So, just from the um, mileage menu, you can either go down one or you can go all the way up through it. It just says engine oil level measuring in progress. Vehicle must be level for correct measurement. I don't think I'm strictly 100% level, um, but you know, try and get it as level as you can. And then it will just say engine oil level okay. So it takes this amount of time. There you go, like what, 10 seconds? Not even that. Engine oil level okay. Now, annoyingly, it doesn't give you an accurate level. <laughs> So on a dipstick, I usually like to um, fill it sort of three quarters to almost full, um, just so I know that I've got enough oil in there in case I don't check it for a while. But this just says engine oil level okay. So just make sure you're checking it fairly regularly and then you'll never run far of that. So hopefully that helped you. Um, it's specific to this W203, but I know um, some of the other Mercedes of the era, like the W211, I believe some of them didn't have a dipstick. Um, Anything with like the 220 CDI OM646 engines, um, the facelifted versions of them, I believe they have this sort of system. So hopefully that helped you out, Marty, and hopefully it helped the rest of you out as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Let me know if there's anything that you want me to cover on these platforms. I've got the car here, so I can show you whatever you want. So leave a comment, let me know.